Hi, I'm Michael and welcome to the first in what I hope will be a series of electronics videos. Um, today we're going to be looking at a, a novel little uh, soft power touch circuit that I've developed. Um, one of the greats, David L. Jones from the EUV blog, posted a couple of years ago a video about a soft touch power button that you could use to latch a uh, power supply circuit um, with just a single pole, single throw switch. And that's pretty neat. Um, I've been toying around with the idea of a microcontroller um, controlled um, soft touch power switch such that the micro can turn itself and the supporting circuitry off either from the user press of the button or just from a line of code. Um, so today we'll be looking at that. So here it is. The circuit is made up of a uh, power P-channel MOSFET and a much smaller uh, signal N-channel MOSFET. Both of these are logic level. Um, it's really only necessary for the bottom transistor to be a logic level unit. That's just being driven straight from a microcontroller output. In this case we're calling it power control. So we have our 12 volt supply, um, the two transistors and just a series diode and a couple of resistors. And so the whole circuit is made up from about six components um, and that'll allow you to do some soft touch power latching. So let's, um, let's figure out how it works. Um, when you first apply power, you apply your 12 volts to the circuit. Both of the transistors are hard off. The, um, the gate of the end channel is being pulled to ground, so it's hard off, which means this line is floating, being pulled up to supply by the 10K, which means that your P-channel is also hard off. If you were to press the power button, you'd have your 12 volts go straight through the diode and into the V-in pin on, say, your Arduino. Um, that would then completely power your circuit, and your first line of code would be to turn power control high. When you drive power control high, you're going to drive the VGS to above the threshold voltage, which is going to switch this guy on hard. That's going to pull the gate of the P-channel MOSFET to ground, which will turn it on, and that will short out the series diode and the switch. And that's the important part. Um, you're, you're shorting out the diode, so you've got no parasitics aside from whatever resistance you've got in your, you know, your, your RDS on for your uh, P-channel MOSFET. So now the circuit has been latched on because you're driving the transistor which is allowing you to short the 12 volts straight to V and bypassing your switch and your diode. This line here is now just kind of floating. Um, this, is, this sense input is the sense, uh, just a, a digital pin on, again, say your Arduino. And if you have that set up to be just a high impedance input with no, um, no pull-up resistor, this is going to be low all of the time. When you press this button, however, you're going to have 12 volts go straight into that input. Now the 10K is going to limit the current going through that input, and the internal Zener diode that protects the, um, the digital input pin of the Atmega Micro is going to effectively clamp that to 5 volts. So you've got a 5 volt signal whenever you press this button down. Pressing the button does not affect whatsoever how power is transferred through this circuit here. The, the power is still going to be going through your P-channel MOSFET. What this will do though is allow you to sense when the button is being pressed. So you can use that when you press the button, sense goes high, and you can use that to say toggle through various modes, to toggle through various screens on your project, but possibly most importantly, at least for this circuit, is you can use this button as a condition for turning off the circuit. So in my case, I have it set up that whenever the power button is held down for, I think it's a second or two seconds, power control will get driven low. Now I should, I should actually mention it looks for a hold of the button for uh, a second I guess and it only acts when the button is released because of course if you tried to turn yourself off while the button is being held down you've got your 12 volt path going straight through to power.
So it waits for the button to be released. After the button's been released, and after a short delay, the power control output pin of the microcontroller gets driven low. That means that your VGS for this N-channel MOSFET is now effectively ground, which turns it off hard, which allows the gate voltage of your P-channel MOSFET to get pulled right up to supply, effectively turning this once continuous current path into an open circuit. So you've released the button, there's no power flowing through it, and the MOSFET has been turned off and turned off hard. So there's no current going through it. So by sending power control low, by sending it to a digital zero, the circuit depowers itself and the whole circuit loses power. The micro turns off everything that's connected to the output of this circuit loses power. Let's see how it goes on the breadboard. Alright, we've got our power supply set for just about 12 volts and here's our circuit on the breadboard. We're just running a pretty standard um, Arduino development board here and we're running it as in the schematic, we're putting power into the V in pin because we are driving this at 12 volts currently. Here's our um, P-channel power transistor, the RF9540N. There's our little 2N7000 uh, logic level N-channel MOSFET. Uh, dicky little tactile switch is going to serve for our power button and there's our series diode that in full complement of resistors. Apologies for all the blue wires, that's probably not very easy to follow, but it is a simple circuit, so you can easily recreate it from the schematic. Um, let's see how we go with just powering it at 12 volts. When I tap the button, we've got our blue power indicator LED coming on, along with the digital 13 uh, LED that's built onto this board. So there's a, a LED tied to D13 um, and I've just turned that on as well. The reason for that is, you may remember, when the circuit turns itself off, it waits for the user to release the uh, switch. It waits for the user to release the button before it will depower itself, because of course, the button, it's, if, if the circuit tries to depower itself while the button's being held down, the button is just going to power it anyway. So that, that's, um, D13 is like our pseudo power indicator. You can effectively ignore the blue one. Uh, if we hold down the button for a short period, then the digital 13 pin goes off. Of course, the, the circuit is still powered by the switch, but once we release the switch, the blue power light extinguishes as well. And so that's a, a reasonably simple um, digitally controlled latching power circuit. There you have it, one digital controlled soft touch power switch. If you have any better ideas on how to improve the circuit, if you can use fewer parts, cheaper parts, I'd love it if you let me know. And as I said before, I will link the code for this little demo uh, below somewhere, as well as the video back to the uh, totally analog um, EEV blog version of the soft touch power switch. See you next time.